So now we're going to cover the basics of playing video in ActionScript 3. All Flash video applications have the same three classes at their core. The Net Connection, the Net Stream, and the Video class. Now let's take a look at the role each of these play. And while we talk about the role, I also have a metaphor uh, that I like to use when I describe uh, the relationship of these three classes, and that is a delivery truck making, making a delivery. So the net connection uh, is, serves as the connection from the server or whatever computer is the source of the video to the player itself, which is running in the browser on the viewer's computer. Now the net stream is the actual uh, conduit for communication between the player and the server. So what I mean by that is the net stream is the thing that actually carries the media from its origin to its destination over the net connection. Now, the video, and this is perhaps misleadingly named uh, a class, because the video class has nothing to do with the actual video uh, file. Um, and when we control the video, as we'll see in, uh, later on, uh, we're, we're not actually controlling the video object. We're, we would be controlling the net stream. Because the video uh, object is just the physical object on our stage that displays the video. And then, of course, we have the FLV file itself, which is the data of the media. Now, in the metaphor of the delivery truck, the net connection is the highway. It is the thing over which the net stream, or the truck, uh, carries the package, which is the FLV file, uh, to the video, which is the delivery bay. And I've attempted to illustrate the relationship of these classes in this diagram. We see there's an FLV hosted on a server, and somewhere on some user's computer, the Flash player is running. A net connection is established connecting the server to the Flash player. And then the net stream carries the FLV over the net connection straight to a video object that is running inside of the Flash player. Let's pseudocode out what we need to do in order to play a video in ActionScript 3. Now, pseudocode, if you're unfamiliar with the term, just means writing in English uh, what we need to write in code. So first, we're going to need to create a net connection. And then uh, we would need to connect that net connection to null. Now, that's just uh, whenever you create a net connection, you have to tell it where to connect to. And whenever you are playing progressive video off of the same server that the SWIF is being delivered from, which is um, the vast majority of, of, of cases, uh, you connect the net connection to null. If we were, for example, going to stream this from Flash Media Server, uh, we would not connect to null. We'd connect to the Flash Media Server. So next, we would need to create a NetStream object. And then, new to ActionScript 3, we need to define a client on that NetStream. And I'll explain what that means uh, in a little bit. Then finally, we need to create a video object in order to display the uh, actual FLV on our stage. And then we add the video object to the stage so that it is visible. We attach the net stream to the video object, in essence telling the video where it's going to be getting its information from to display. And then we tell the net stream object to play a video file. So, as I said, there are three core objects involved in playing video in ActionScript 3. And so what we're going to do is declare the variables for those three objects. So first we'll start with the video, var video. And then we'll declare the net connection, var nc. And then we will declare the net stream, var ns. Going back to our pseudocode, we'll see that the first step is to create a net connection object. So I'm going to go down to the part of the code under the comment block, run on startup, and this is where I'm going to do my typing. And so to create the net connection, I am going to say new net connection. And so that I can actually access and talk to that net connection over time, I'll store that in the variable nc. So nc equals new net connection. And then using the connect method, I'm going to tell that net connection where it will be connecting to. And because this is progressive media off of the same server as the SWIF, I will say nc.connect null without quotes. And now we're ready to create our net stream. So we'll say ns equals new net stream. 
But when we create a NetStream, we actually have to tell it at the time of creation uh, what net connection it's going to use. So while in the parentheses, while we're creating the NetStream, we type in NC, because this NetStream will use the NC net connection. Then we have this line of code where we establish the client, ns.client equals, and I'm going to type in this. And so what is the client? The client is new to the NetStream in ActionScript 3. And what the client is, is the place that the NetStream will look to call two functions in particular, on metadata and on cue point. And we'll deal with these in subsequent lessons. But when Flash hears metadata in a video, or here's a cue point in a video, it's going to look to the client for the functions called on metadata and on cue point. And so we need to declare the client. Even if we don't use uh, the metadata or the cue point, we need to declare the client uh, in order to avoid a runtime error uh, in ActionScript 3. So we're saying the client is this, meaning uh, that the NetStream will look to this, or this frame of code, if you will, uh, for those functions, which is where we'll add them later when we need to. Okay, so back to the code, we now need to create the video. So I will say video equals new video. Now when we create a video object, we can optionally specify the width and height we want it to be uh, at the time of creation. So in the parentheses I can say 320 comma 240. So this video object will be 320 pixels wide and 240 pixels tall when it is created. And because of the way display objects work in ActionScript 3, creating it is, uh, doesn't mean the user will see it. In order for the user to see it, we have to add it to our stage. So we will say add child video. Back to our pseudocode, we need to tell the video where it's getting its information from. Remember, the video is just a dumb display head. So it needs to know where its source is coming from, and that will be the NSNetStream. So we'll say video dot attach netstream ns. And finally, we have to actually play the video. All of this code that we've written so far is just the setup. It's the framework that we're, that we're using to play the video. Now we actually play it. And the way we play it is by talking to the netstream. So we say ns.play and then we give it a path in quotes to a, a video file. So if you've um, unzipped the course files and, and left them as is and you're working in the same folder that I am, you can just type in uh, open quote dot dot slash underscore capital media slash FLV where the video files are located slash Kennedy dot FLV. Now you'll know when we're working with the NetStream or the Net Connection, we don't wrap any external uh, URL information in a URL request. We just pass in the string of uh, the server or the file. And so if we test this file, we'll see that we have uh, a video player working. But if I were to say, my fellow citizens, that we shall send to the moon... So I close that out. So let's review the code we've written so far. We've declared three variables, a video object, a net connection object called NC, and a net stream object called NS. Then when the Swift actually starts, we'll run the following code, which creates a new net connection, connects it to null, because this is a progressive uh, file being delivered off the same source as this Swift. We create a new net stream, telling it to run off of the NC net connection. We declare the client on the NetStream uh, as this, and we'll, we'll actually use that later. But we use it now just to avoid the runtime error. Then we create a new video called Video, sized at 320 pixels wide by 240 pixels tall, and we add it to the stage. Finally, we tell the uh, video object to use the NS NetStream as its source, and then we play the Kennedy.flv over the NetStream. And that's the core code involved in playing any video in ActionScript 3. And the same code works to play any H.264 video, uh, such as QuickTime.movs, uh, 3GP files, and, and so forth, which uh, is possible in Flash Player 9.0.115 and later.